1 billion people, 12 million plus retailers, an industry worth 200 billion US dollars. India has become the destination for fashion and lifestyle products retailing with highest number of outlets in the world at 12 million compared to the 0.9 million in the USA. India is certainly a market which the world is eyeing today. India gave the IT industry a new direction in the late 90s and is now forging towards France in the area of fashion promotion. Several Indian and international FIs are setting up specialized division for retail funding. The history of retailing can be traced back to the era when barter system came into existence. People of each village and town assembled on the outskirts in an open field to exchange goods. This gradually became a weekly activity and known as Shandi Day. Since times immemorial, we can recall the retailing of entertainment in the fairs of the Indus Valley civilization, which gives us one of the earliest examples of retailing of services. The rich landlords saw an opportunity and opened up their backyards to store and barter a whole range of basic necessities of day-to-day -day requirement. This was the first step and the first phase in organized retailing. The introduction of currency gave rise to commerce activities and small entrepreneurs set up shops to sell groceries, medicine, hardware, etc. The small Kirana or general merchants as they are popularly known in India became an integral part of the daily lives of people and retailing gained recognition as a professional activity. The year 1863 marked the entry of Darrington Spencers into India which set the ball rolling for professional organized retailing in India. The post-British era forced the government of India to set up a public distribution system in the form of fair price shops to distribute essential commodities like rice, wheat, sugar, etc. This marked the second phase of organized retailing in India. Closely followed by the PDS system, the cooperatives took up activities of stocking and selling goods and services. The success of the cooperative movement in India was further strengthened by the efforts of Dr. V. V. Kurian. It is managed by elected representatives of the farmers. They have employed me as a professional manager. To run. The Gujarat Milk Producers Marketing Federation created history as almost an international branding in its product, Amul. This marked a great step in organized retailing. The third phase of organized retailing began with the entry of Bata, where specialized retailing gained credence. In the fourth phase of retail revolution, led by stores like Shoppers Top, Food World, Nilgiris, The Kemp Chain, Lifestyle, etc., flagged off the beginning of supermarket retailer, speciality retailer, the franchisee retailer, discount retailer, and the service retailer. The new avatar of retailing has acknowledged the customer as the lord. This phase of retailing also has brought into effect two different categories of retailing, one being the store retailer and another the non-store retailer, such as direct retailing, catalogs and mailers, TV home shopping and finally the virtual store or retailing on the internet. So now the customer is truly the king. With competition looming large in the retail, retail management has also reached a level of sophistication. 
The success of any retailer, large or small, depends on how much he absorbs of the retail concepts. Retail management is all about providing the best services to their customers in terms of right product, right price, right place and the right timing. Therefore, to integrate all these, a retailer has to work out a strategy and offer the best product retail mix. The elements of a retail mix when put in the form of a matrix will appear like the nine planetary positions drawn by an astrologer to predict a person's future. They are customer service, location, merchandise mix, personal selling, retail strategy, price, ambience, store design and display, and advertising and promotion. Like the planets, the elements of retail mix also contribute to the success of a retail store, both individually and collectively. Therefore, to achieve success, we need committed retail management. With the glamour, glitz, attractive pay packages, incentives, etc., retail management is a sure visa to the new world of opportunities for one and all. The future of retail is bright in India. The future for growth of retail services such as business automation, products and services related to store design and visual merchandising is expected to be in the region of 150 US billion dollars. It is the next sunrise industry after information technology.